Let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another hardcore Minecraft episode. My name is CNC, and today we are into the overworld, and I am currently live on this YouTube channel. Well, m w when you're watching this on YouTube, it, it's it's already a VOD, but uh, I am also streaming on this channel. Okie dokie, and we are going to work to the nether hub, but... I'm quite hungry right now. Alright, let's put this bed over here. I'm always losing my beds for some reasons. Let's go to the nether real quickly. Real, real quickly. So, I uh, said that I want to make this and make this more interesting and improved. And that's gonna require a lot of work. And I do have some things I do want to use right now. And we can find them very, very quickly over the Froglite's farm. And yes, this is my nether hub. Quite big and massive. And I do have some cobble deep slate over here that I want to use and a stone cutter. And hopefully that's going to be good enough for now. So we are going to transform some of this cobbled deep slate into some uh, stairs but let's find out what kind of stairs that we want to use maybe polished maybe deep slate tile maybe we want deep slate brick i think i like the bricks to be honest with you let's make a bunch of those really quickly and see how it's gonna turn out i actually like the contrast one of my favorite blocks is deep slate I think the deep slate is such a nice block and I'm so happy that they are giving more attention to the tough block into the next update, which is also very nice. Now let's get all of this out of here and of course with these I am going to simply do this awesome trick just like so. A bunch of those things like that and of course connecting it all together to make it look pretty and cute I think <laughs> I wonder I mean this is not a final design I don't really know what's gonna be the final design this looks quite intriguing I would say and I'm like quite curious how this turned out to be like that how can it replicate such a thing and why is this not looking the same hmm that's quite interesting Maybe it's because I did it like this, and then I did this like that. Okay, no, no, uh, wait. <laughs> Still not correct. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna find a cool design right now. That's not it. No. Wait, how did this... How did that happen? <laughs> how is this possible? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave it like this. That's actually pretty cute. Let's see if I can actually replicate this whole thing right now. So I'm putting this there, and this here, and this here, and that there, and this here, and this here, and that there, and this here, and that there, and this here, and that there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. Ooh, do not go into lava. All right, let's find the final design, and we'll need to use all of this on every and each one of those columns of lava and we have so much work to do and hopefully we'll finish some of it today all right so i guess 20 minutes later we have placed some of these and the design is finished this is how i did it and uh yeah we're gonna do that on all of them literally all of those lava columns oh look at that there's a bee hello mr b what are you doing here sir what are you doing in the nether? You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> I guess you went through the portal. Oh well, so here, here's how I do it. It's quite simple and I just learned how to play stairs in this position. So we got to do it like that, just like so. And that, and we're going to move on this side and put it on, on there and there. And moving on the other side and there and there. And this is uh, how I do it. It's quite easy and simple and cute. And I actually like how it looks like. Very nice. It gives so much contrast. The lava, the frog lights, and every other frog light. It's very nice. And I think I like it. 
So I'm gonna do it one more time to show you if you want to do it as well. So yeah, that's that's quite simple. And you move on the sides and you connect it all together just like so. All right, so give me five, uh, <laughs> five years later. We might actually finish this. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, we are done. Actually much more sooner than I thought it would. This took me some time, but all right, we are done. Okay, let me just show you really quickly. All of these. Oh, that looks so splendid. Look at that over here as well. Finished. Cool. All of the stairs. And of course, we need more lava pillars going on. But this is under construction. But we're going to do what we have already finished. And gosh, that looks so much better now. I mean, just look at the details over there. So much better than... Oh, Mr. B. Hello. What are you doing, sir? How are you? doing and what are you doing in the nether sir it's quite dangerous in here you should go back to the overworld <laughs> i guess he came through a portal and he was like mm, it's a good idea to be coming to here and i still have one shulker box i believe that's full with oh there's two bees oh my gosh there's so many bees in here we will have a shulker box which is cool all right, let's put this in here for now. Because we're going to work with that later on. And we're going to need... I should probably get my sword, but I guess the axe is good enough to destroy mobs. Uh, I need to spawn-proof the area below where there are endermen spawning into the warped forest. Because there is endermen spawning over and over, and I really don't want to have any endermen spawning over and over. Because... They are really, really messing things up because the other time I saw them placing down a block over here and they could spawn monsters in here because all of those blocks you see over here are non-spawnable blocks. No gas are spawning because I do not want a single gas to be spawning in here. That will be terrible because, you know, gas can shoot fireballs. Now let's go back to the overworld. Going to need... Is it nighttime already? Oh, is that a bath? Gonna need a lot and a lot of torches. So let me just make some. I do have a lot of coal. Because, of course, I have a wither skeleton farm. But besides that, let's uh, see. Where is my coal? I mean, uh, there should be some coal blocks over here. All right. And we do have a bamboo farm over here where we have plenty of sticks we can make into that like so and i believe that's good enough for now oh i still have the stone cutter with me <laughs> i was supposed to leave that into the nether all right so look at that so many torches hopefully it's going to be good enough to spawn proof all of the area and I should probably... I mean, that's probably good enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave someone there, because I have so many. I have so many torches. <laughs> Gosh. Alright, let's go back to the nether, but... Ooh. Not through the same portal, because... Oh, look at the sniffer. <laughs> so adorable. We're going through this portal. But, but underneath the bedrock, because we are building above the bedrock, because we are playing on Java and we can do that. On Java, you can't do that. Okay. I really don't know what light level do we need for Enderman to not spawn anymore. But we are just gonna do some torch spam everywhere. Because we definitely don't want these guys to be spawning anymore. Like, I just don't want these guys to be spawning again. Like, on these areas, it's pretty dark and they are obviously spawning here. It's gonna be quite difficult to find all the spots where they spawn, but at least we're spawn-proofing a little bit. Luckily, torches are not laggy, which is great, because I was concerned at some point if I'm having so many torches. I wonder, can they spawn on top of these blocks? Probably, because they are solid full blocks. So we can we, we, we actually have to put torches on every single block we see like it's crazy 
Look at that one stack already wasted, but uh, I have plenty. Okay. I don't want to watch. I, I don't want to make you watch all of this because this is a lot of stuff happening. But we hope to spawn proof this whole place. Hopefully no more Endermen spawning it. And uh, we'll be back after we are done placing a billion torches. And hopefully no more Endermen spawning in anywhere. Hopefully. Isn't that right, Mr. Enderman? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so while I was trying to spawn proof something, I was looking at an Enderman and I was mad. There's like 50 Endermen in here. Like, uh, how can you see there's like 50 Endermen? I this place is crazy. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Where is he at? Oh my gosh. Enderman? There's literally 50 Endermen here. Like, how many is in there? What are they doing here? I'm scared. <laughs> Gee, dude. Endermen are wild. <laughs> I was just trying to spawn proof, but I guess they are just crazy. <laughs> Look how many is in there. Come on, guys, come here and destroy the Enderman. Like, what are they doing over there? It's crazy. <laughs> yes, gas. I know, there is a bajillion Enderman over there. I know, I have noticed them too. It's crazy how many they are. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my gosh, it's coming over here. Okay, get ready. Hello? He's coming! Where are you at? The Enderman's mad at me. Maybe not. Oh well, let's carry on. Let's continue my things. The Enderman is not mad anymore. Oh, never mind, he is mad. But he's not coming. Where is he going, dude? Maybe he died. Oh well. Okay, I just found another 50 Endermen over here. Literally. <laughs> There's like 50 Endermen there. Look at that. What are they doing over there? <laughs> they all spawned over there just to make me sad. Aren't they? <laughs> okay. So we have spawn proofed the nether a lot. And I have a bunch more uh, torches. I'm gonna use all of them and uh, we'll see if there is any improvements. Hopefully they are not spawning as much as they are spawning at the moment because they are making everything super laggy if if you are having a bajillion Enderman. <laughs> They're all spawning in one block. <laughs> this is crazy. Alright, now let's fly away and see maybe there is another place somewhere. I don't even know where I am right now and where's the exit, but we'll get one and mic one right now. Endermen cannot spawn if there is a two blocks gap. They can spawn if there's a three blocks gap. Okay, yes, this is the last place I'm spawning. Spawn proofing. Oh, look how many is in here because all over the place they cannot spawn anymore. They can only spawn in here. And they all pick up stuff and they won't despawn. And we gotta despawn them. <laughs> you all have to go, Mr. Enderman. Dude, this forest is so big, it's never ending. It's like infinite. Okay, this is all of my torches for now. I'm done for not <laughs> so many torches. Okay. A bunch more left. Yeah, I just been there. No problem. All right, let's go home, I guess. Oh, this is one of those glowstone spawning. <laughs> There's like 50 in there, there, I swear. There's like 50. 
And that is all of my torches and a bunch of nonsense. All right, let's go home and uh, look how many of them are spawning in there. Like <laughs> so many. Okay, where is home? I have no idea. Okay, let's go and turn the brightness all the way up to normal because this is the normal brightness I'm using. Oh my gosh, so much brighter now. Everything's so much brighter. I mean, the, the reason why I use that is because I wanted to see dark spots and the best way to see dark spots. Dude, I only have 13 rockets and I have no idea where I am. I swear. <laughs> Let's fly quickly and find my way home. I do not have my ender chest. I should always bring my ender chest with me when I'm doing this. Because <laughs> if I get lost... Like, look how much brighter this whole place is right now. Alright, let's go back to the overworld. I believe my portal is around here. Okay, it's here. Okay, I just missed it. <laughs> Alright, let's go back home. Hopefully. Everything is better now. Well, let's go and get some rockets really quickly from my creeper farm. And uh, let's see if my nether hub is better now. And no more crazy laggy because of Enderman spawning in like crazy. Okay, those rockets are just too powerful. They are tier 3 rockets. <laughs> Alright. Creepers. This is my creeper farm. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Bye, Creeper. Alright, let's go to... Oh, that's my sniffer. Have you seen it? This <laughs> is so funny. We need more trees there. Alright, and we're going to the nether hub. Through this portal. Yay. Alright, I wonder if there is zombie men spawning in. I guess they are spawning now. Oop, that, that block is gone forever. <laughs> well, this is uh, the, sh the the pig man shower. <laughs> um, yeah, there is no pig man spawning. Well, that's fine. I don't care. I just want Enderman to not be spawning in here. Because they were really annoying. <laughs> this is not an efficient farm. Oh, okay. It's fine. I just need to fly all the way up there and they will all spawn. Because, you know, but, you know. Look at that. Pigman, what are you doing, Mr. Pigman? All right, let's get out of here. Where's the exit? I actually want to make all of this out of glass, but until then, we are just going to seal it off. Seal it off. And hopefully no Enderman will spawn any more in here. Because there are always Endermen spawning and they are placing down blocks all over this place. And if they place a block, they could spawn a ghast. And that would be terrible because ghasts are making things kaboom. Well, this is what I worked on for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you all in two the next episode everyone and for the people watching right now on the live thank you for watching the live and see you all into the next live hopefully soon goodbye everyone have a really awesome day bye bye